Hey everybody, this is Target of Carl back again to playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Uh, last we left off, we met up with some people, did a few interviews, and taken up some, uh, taken up the case of Maya, the sister of Mia. I promise you that will get confusing soon, but let's go ahead and continue. trial now September 7 10 a.m. District Court courtroom number one court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay prosecution is ready your honor the defense the defense is ready your honor Was at the scene of the crime. Prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Ashmore. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. Prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene. was found by this window here and the cause of death loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object sir the murder weapon was a statue of a figure found next to the body sir it was very it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon even in a girl's hand sir the court accepts the statue as evidence Still calling it a statue? Before plans added to the court record. Now, detective. Yeah, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence he did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account and described her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say? Very well. Mr. Wright, will you... Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. 
Yes, you are. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Hey, may I just do something at me? What's this? My sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips out and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Eh, I should have expected Mary would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Hold it! Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Deepwater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Just one second. Yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, right? Correct? Huh? Yeah. Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly about this suspicious woman in Pink's claims was hard evidence. What? Miss May isn't suspicious. And she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Hmm. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Ugh. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, detective. Let's hear your testimony again. After, this, after securing the suspect, after securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. That test was short. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found at the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. <laughs> Begin cross examination. I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor, why didn't you testify testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh, I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor. Try to be more careful. Very well, Detective. Very well, the defense may begin this cross examination. I examined the crime. I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Hold it! And did you find any evidence? Now, now, I don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this.
To gum shoe. There's one thing I want you to clar clarify for me. You say that the victim Mia Fey wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lore tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have a backwards detective. Backwards? But the victim, the victim is the only person who, who, the victim is the only person who absolutely could not, absolutely could not have been. This is the report from the department detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. He died immediately. I should have put that together myself, but you know, I'm not a detective. No, but in, in your, no, but in your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> Almost, yes. That was almost immediate due to the blow from a blood object. 
Jeff. But there is a possibility that we can live for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, so you shouldn't enter that into evidence. You know, any new piece of evidence has to be presented in court so the defense has that part of themselves too. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write many of That is all. I see. Damn you, Ezworth. Should have known you have something up your sleeve. I should have known you had something up your sleeve. Why, right, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. <laughs> Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. That could look part of her is innocent. is remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimony. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. 
only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. He has to have some weaknesses. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination.
tell me something about this. That testimony stinks. What? It's my I'm willing to bet that. You're not. You're not. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes. What is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless. How about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fan, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. Fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony is these things. Testimony is pointless. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of her murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss Faye? What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the chocolate details were necessary, darling. Miss Fair, what would I be to like to remind you to please don't bring nothing in your testimony? I'm sorry, I'm a good girl. I promise. Your testimony again, if you would. so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination.
Okay. to something now. May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. You said the statue of the thing was a clock. But there was no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position that you recently call, called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty. Of murder. Order, order. Ms. May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Uh, uh. Objection! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with true concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will draw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection! The questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murder. I've caught murderers with these questions before. Only um, once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Almost close. If you stop me there, the trial will be over. a clock.
this is where phone company where the murder took place. It's very close to the hotel. You could easily have heard the clock. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because. Missing is clockwork. Quite empty. <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? Is as you see. It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have run. Therefore, the witness. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat. Well, Miss Faye. This tisk. But it shows you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty? Somehow, he knew? I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock removed? It was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been empty right after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, y'all. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clock was removed? How oh, oh. Impossible. Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I have. Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was moved is... Take that! Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshu overlooked it. Good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm trying to feel bad for the big phone. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? Not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. September 5th, 9, 27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clock work was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at the hotel. <laughs> Well, Miss Faye, would you care to explain this to the court? This how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it uh, obvious? I saw the clock before. And, uh, what's the word that I get? I, I got to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness has seen it. That will make sense. Do the defense have any objections? She has seen it before. A piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well, then let's see it. Let's produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen it quite before. Take that! It's simple. This clock was never in any story ever. What? 
A friend of mine made that car. Only two exist in the world. And the only one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything's sold in, everything is sold in stars! Miss Faye, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh! Mr. Boomerang, used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you need to think it was a clock. And am I, am I wrong? Hey Daniel, are you feeling better, man? I was ho hoping I can hear from you. Uh, cause I know you caught uh, COVID a while back, but I hope you're feeling better. I, I, Objection! Your Honor, 
This is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Uh, uh, uh. Witness answered the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! You, you lawyer! It's not fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, I'm so... Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, oh, where? That did it. Of course, seeing the real Miss April May now. Not to deal with the final blow. Why did you tap our phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippy Tapper irrelevant? God, she's saying exactly what Ezra wants her to say. This man. We're tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? You prove you have nothing to do with his murder, even though you tapped her phone. Ah, I'd like to see her pull that off. Can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way. And I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Like, that's just when I was getting room service from the sweet ho bell boy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know? Like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't think, if you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? As the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you. That the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's phone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. The testimony stands. So the defendant may have fake commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Mm, well, come on, think of something.
Um, by the way, uh, by the way, I am going to uh, uh, stream a little bit on Wednesday. Nor uh, normally, uh, Wednesdays I don't stream, but I got, I got three day weekend after Wednesday, so I want to play a little bit more time with Pokemon. Uh, let's go Pikachu. I can hurry and get to that uh, Pokemon League thing. Uh, oh, I see you, Daniel. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't answer you, but the hospital's internet connection is really bad. Yeah, I mean, the hospital goes over COVID, but in a few days they'll give me an exit. Okay, well, like, you really don't have to, like, I mean, I'm glad you popped in just to, like, I'm, because I'm, honestly, I was thinking about you in the, uh, in the last day or so. Uh, just making sure, hopefully, that you checked in at some point. So I know, like, you're cool, but, uh, yeah. As long as you're in the hospital, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you rest up in the hospital, man, uh, honestly, I mean, just, uh, get some rest, you know, your health is, comes first before anything else, and, uh, hopefully, Wednesday afternoon, like, well, like, Wednesday evening, I'll, uh, hear from you, and hopefully you'll be home and, um, well rested. like to call the hotel boy as a witness. There's something suspicious here and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think he's sucking quite low enough already. Objection! I object to you calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapper had nothing to do with the killer. However, if you agree to one condition, I consent to call this witness. Condition? If Mr. April May's alibi is not called into question after you the young bellboy, he wants a hellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Miss May effect. You can't do that. There's no lawyers you should ever agree to something, that, something like that, especially not in the middle of a uh, court like that. I mean, like, I'm no lawyer or legal expert whatsoever, but, you know, like, I, you know, watch, you know, Legal Eagle and all these other, like, you know, actual lawyers talk about things like this, and this does not actually happen. They cannot do this, at, at least not in, in the middle of the court session. Uh, maybe Wednesday it will, will be out already. Yeah, Wednesday definitely. Hopefully you'll be all right, Daniel. That is my condition. What? I'm gonna find something suspicious in that hellboy is touching me. Why do I wanna keep saying hellboy? Otherwise, the man will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for a ball. Everything. Understood, I accept your condition. Right into my trap. Uh oh, uh, wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. You have to go to court dressed. In appropriate clothes. You can't come in in your workplace uniform. And can't, especially not carrying uh, a serving tray. Although I could uh, use some tea. I received your summons in the middle of work, so I'm happy to be a source. And you can't just call witnesses. Obviously, you can't call witness just a drop of a hat. Especially if he's in the middle of work. You gotta, you know, clear another, uh, uh, schedule another day of court so he can come in uh, an appropriate time, not just in the middle of everything. I mean, I'm, I'm nitpicking here on a game, but it's just like, you know, I've seen a lot of, like, courtroom stuff, so I know. The tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, he may begin his testimony. Very good, 
策。Service. Want to go to? But、uh, me and my sister head off to、uh, Vegas this fall. That I'm gonna use like some, like the hell out of not the hell out of but like I'm gonna use that room service like a mug, man. I just just I cannot wait, man. I miss going to like nice hotels, you know, just away from it all, you know. Oh, and speaking of which, now I'm thinking about it. You know, the week before I actually go on that trip, I'm gonna probably overhaul a lot of walkthroughs and whatever videos that I might be doing that time frame or planning on to do so. I'll try to front load as much as possible, so that way you know you got some proper content, so that following week I can take a nice little break. I see the defense may begin its cross examination. All right. I'm ready. I hope this is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder. Now Maya will be finished. Hold it! What exactly is you do at the hotel? Why anything required of me, sir? I check in guests. I check out guests. Clean rooms. I make beds. I even deliver room service. I check Miss May in person. Are you always, are you always so so prim? That's right. You wouldn't feel you asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening. Hold it. Are you sure Miss it was Miss May on the call? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? Not only did I see her in all her stunning movements, but I also heard her voice.、But、then I saw them, and I, um, uh, 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 the point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. Hold it! Nine o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wore a fish to drink after she finished. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. Prior to her at precisely the present time. Hold it. Precisely nine then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. Nine o'clock p.m. But can you be so sure? This man was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, and still boy. Oh, bad boy TV. I like like iced coffee at exactly 9 a.m. 9 p.m. Something like that. If I knock on the do- on her door at the crack of nine, so why would she be so particular about the time? And I'm giving the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May. Hold it. Are you sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely. As in, endearing your manners and your mind. Oh, you're so very certain. Well, when I brought the news, she, she, the guests, she played me with them,、uh, an embarrassing,、uh, embarrasser. Is that French for embrace? It's French for. Not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. That was pretty fishy to me. 
I think uh, Miss May was up to something at one of the club boys to remember her. Not good. There's something. There's nothing there. Is, is it that it? This test. Finally, you understand. This club boy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. We just made me the staff. Can't let this happen, can I? Whoa! Please wait. Yes, what the defense of some guy? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! The honor, I must object. The charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now that I'm the stairs work. Alright, Mr. Wright. I give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Do we can check in, right? What did you say? I, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, boy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Objection! I object. That was objectionable. Objection over what? The women will answer the question. Uh, yes. Let's see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? You uh, said you, uh, uh, you didn't have to. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're not supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, the barista there, Mr. Ezra King. He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked. Oh. I think Ashworth and Seto Kaiba would get along very well. I've done it. I've won! Miss April May checked into a... Checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. And when you brought them in the service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Just learn of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold this. I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Would you agree, Mr. Esbert? Who, Mr. Bright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was. The man who checked in with Miss May. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim. 
Esther's home. And Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Her father saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. What a convenient little setup. It's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Ah. Start. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. And am I, am I understood? Yes. Uh, yes, your honor. That is all today for the trial of Mayor Fay. Court is adjourned. Woo! Oh my god. I forgot how like in, in like uh intense this can be. September seventh, two twenty four PM, District Court, defendant lobby number one. Mr. Brown! You were amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. I was just doing my job, you know? Again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his. With his eyes wide and trembling lips. Ten shivers up my spine. Um, if you can say so. But she turned on. So what happens with me? Do I get to go? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. And that with you, Miss Faye. He's a kid. I get it. Having to Miss May after that anyway. Her they arrested her. I guess she's running her charms on the book everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. We may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who made so. Yes. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. Come on, you. For a full record of April May's testimony, thought it might come in handy during the trial. But now that I have it, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. Maybe the dog and attack that then ran to the right. But she was quite struck. Don't know how much good this will do me at all. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, it's time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, but it's up to me to set her free. Okay, we'll just save it here. Yeah. We'll pick this up tomorrow. I, uh, hopefully I won't have to start up late. I had to fix dinner and everything like that uh, before I started streaming. Uh, I take care of some couple of things. I still need to work on some more chaotic. I got a, a script and everything like that. I gotta put together notes and everything like that for the next chaotic videos. One of the next two chaotic videos, chaotic lore videos that I'm working on. And uh, they're gonna be a little bit bigger than what's been going on recently with those videos. Then, of course, I gotta uh, take out some stuff. I need to probably get some rest because I still gotta come to work in the next couple of days. But those next two days, I'll be let off of work an hour earlier than normal so i'll be home a little bit sooner so i can prob probably i don't know uh what else might be happening but i'll probably be streaming a little bit earlier than normal so i can probably get in more time get some more of these videos out 
so i will see you guys soon be well and uh yeah take care